obviously Putin uh, was aware, he was the only person who knew the invasion was going to happen, so uh, he built up reserves uh, in the run-up to the invasion, and Russia's been spending those reserves over the last 18 months. I mean, it's given a lot of durability. Uh, but actually, I think now sanctions are finally beginning to hit. The $60 oil price cap is now significant, significantly impacting on uh, energy uh, export revenues. At the same time, sanctions mean that it's much more difficult for Russia to buy a lot of the critical imports it needs. So it's paying top dollar for a lot of those imports. So exports are lower, imports are higher. That means a reduced trade surplus. At the same time, there's a lot of capital flight. Russians are trying to get the money out of the country. So it means there's a shortage of foreign currency. And, and also, obviously, sanctions have frozen around 330 billion of central bank reserves. So the central bank has less money uh, to uh, defend the currency. So now difficult choices are going to have to be made. Th perhaps Russians think that they survived the, the invasion relatively well from an economics perspective. Ordinary living standards perhaps have not reduced that much. I think now it's going to get harder. You know, now difficult choices are going to have to be made.